What up, y'all? Um, I am in the process. I won't even say the process. I'm about to be leaving here in a minute. And I just wanted to bust out this uh, full moon in Libra and also do like a recap, recap on the Pisces new moon because I wasn't able to catch the Pisces full moon. Once again, and I know I said this in everybody's videos for March, I do apologize for not being present. I was just in another realm. Let's, let's just be honest. I was just in a completely different realm and I wasn't here. Um, and so I've been uploading videos, but I know they're not like recent, but they're still informational just in case you want to catch those videos. But let me just talk a little bit about this uh, pre- uh, this past new moon in Pisces for just a second and then I want to get into the full moon in Libra before I close this out today um, first of all for those have, for those of y'all who have made it congratulations this Pisces uh, new moon Mercury retrograde Neptune and Pisces has been a lot and I could say it's good I could say it's bad but I really don't, I, there's, I, there's really nothing I can really say to really break this season down. The, well, Pisces previously, because now we are Aries season, but previously in Pisces, there's nothing I can really say to break this shit down. Um, yeah, it's been a ride. It's definitely been a a ride through this this season and a lot of synchronicities a lot of um signs from the universe but not just several signs but like kind of like i am i'm pisces was literally like i don't know what else i have to do to communicate this information to you but just know that i am com trying to communicate this information to you regardless if you think this is passive regardless if you think this is like around the, no Pisces was like Pisces came down and was like okay do you believe me now do I need to spell it out for you do I need to sign my signature on it for you to understand where I'm coming from is that what you need from me like it was very much so that shit when it came to um the Pisces new moon energy it was beautiful um, but it just, it didn't feel like, it just didn't, just these past couple of weeks just has not felt like we've been here as a collective. We've been in a different realm, connecting with our higher selves, because Pisces is all about, you know, with Sagittarius, it's all about the higher self, the higher, utmost higher being of who we are. And, um... Pisces has a lot Pisces has had a lot of work to do these past couple of years. And Pisces has definitely felt the lost connection um with society and um this this plane, this this plane we call the the world, the plane that we call earth. And so Springing off of that, springing off of Pisces into this Libra full moon, we have had to evaluate spiritually what we're, where we were going as a collective, as individuals, into really molding this new version as we step into ourselves, as we step into Aries season, as Chiron is in Aries you know, Jupiter in Sagittarius, how are we going to expand in this new, this new world, in this balance between the scales? What are we balancing on these scales now? I think that's really what this new moon and or this full moon in Libra was about. How are we balancing the scales? Are we giving too much of ourselves to something, to someone? Are we not giving enough to ourselves? Um, are we taking too much from other people and not giving to other people? Um, intimacy and relationships, um, money, our like our uh, values and the things that the the material thing. 
all these things have come up into question, especially coming into this Libra full moon. Um, and as we step into this fire, fiery, airy season, it's just kind of like letting that go, taking, taking, it's like, I'm seeing like the, I, I kind of said this and I'm sorry that my, my words is still Pisces, um, Pisces rising. So like, it, yeah. Um, when we came home, when, when Pisces, Chiron and Pisces went into uh, Chiron Aries and the soldier was like looking around the house and like, oh, this looks different. Oh, that looks different. Oh, that didn't used to be there. Oh, snap. Like, let me get myself ready. Let me clean, you know, clean house or basically Aries ordering the servant to go clean, you know, everything that Pisces left to go back on Pisces solo journey. You know, it's kind of like Aries is now ready to, um, uh, and I know this is not about Aries, it's about Libra, but Aries and Libra are opposites of each other. It's, as a collective, it's like we are stepping back into our armor, you know, not and not just putting it on just to be putting it on, but putting it on and actually realizing the meaning of why we have to put armor on in the first place, you know. It's not just a protective shield. It's literally our being that we are stepping into in this new realm. And now as I say this, the sun is literally like gleaming on my fucking beautiful ass skin. You see it? Thank the universe. You know, at any second this can all be gone. But I just I'm appreciate this is Libra. Appreciating what I am seeing. Thanks. Um But yeah. Who are we now? And um who what is the company that we are keeping? And uh, how are we, how are we stepping into this new world? You want to step into this new world boldly and honestly, with confidence. You know, Libra is air, cardinal air. So it's always, even though it's not mutable air, it's, it's, it changes subtly. It's not like mutable. It's like, oh, nah, nah, I'm good. Next. It's like, mm, maybe if we pull this down here. Well, let's go back to the suit. We make the suit a little tighter here. You know, and we, we, you know, we adjust the seams right here. It'll kind of fit on you a little bit more tighter. So when you take a punch or when you take a hit, it doesn't knock you off of your 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 game you know what i'm saying so that's what libra kind of comes in and does for aries it's like okay i see i see what you have on but all that armor is old you need to get you need to do away with it let me make you a new suit i'm kind of thinking about the incredibles right now i think when edna with the little little bob came in there like what's good you know like, like let me give y'all a new whole new thing you know that's how i see libra um let me let me let me design you something that is unbreakable, um, but not only unbreakable or impenetrable as far as like your shield, but for you, it specifically customized and fits for what you need. Now, um, with that, um, there are things that come with that, especially in Aries season. That um, with this leave of full moon and stepping into Aries season. So I guess this could be Aries, the Aries season video is along with along with uh, full moon and Libra and post Pisces. Yeah, it'll, this will all be together. Aries season. Um, this is a supercharged season. It's the new year. It's, it's spring and everything that was dead. It's starting to come back alive now. Our spirits that have been broken, our egos that have been smashed and smacked up, are literally springing again from the dead. You know, that's, that's literally what's going on right now. We are literally being sprung from the dead. Libra has come back to renew us. 
like baby you are beautiful what do you mean like let me like let me just adjust you let me let me you do you want to make over like do you need me to pick out your clothes like what do you what do you not, that's not gonna work anymore boo like I, I need you to be right like how are you stepping into the room I'm not saying you got to be the flashiest person in there. I'm not saying that you have to have the most money in there. But how how are you stepping when you step? You know? When you walk into a room, is your presence felt? Or do you have like this nasty, you know, this nasty aura that everybody's kind of like, mm, like, subtly like kind of avoiding because they don't really want to talk to you because it's like, eh. yeah, she's a little, or he's a little, or they're a little, mm. You know, but when you step into a room now and people see you, and it's not even just about people see, how are you seeing yourself? How are you coming into this and seeing yourself as a whole, as a, as a, as a being, as a person now? That's what this is going to be all about, my friends. And I'm going to leave it at that. Every season is either going to make you. Or fucking break you. This is the final test. Matter of fact, it's not even the final test. The test has already been done. Pisces season was like the last literal remnants of every... Now is do or die. You either with it or you not. Every season, once again, like I've been saying on the videos, is not for the week. So if you want to come into this, still, uh, I don't know. Aries is going to dust your ass. I'm going to just keep it like that. Aries is going to dust your ass. So you make the choice. You make the choice. Prevent forest fires. And um, I'll see you when I start posting the videos. 